It's I'm Telling, the show where brothers and sisters tell it like it is. There's no telling what they're going to say or how much they're going to win. All we know for sure is they're going to tell it all today on And here's the host of I'm Telling. celebrity edition of I'm Telling, where brothers and sisters can win a ton of prizes and money, too, simply by showing how well they really know each other. Let's meet our special teams for today. Will you please welcome, from our house, Shannon Doherty and her real-life brother, Sean. And from the facts of life, of Mackenzie Aston and his real brother, Sean. From rags to riches, Heidi Ziegler and her brother, Chuck. All right. Good luck to every one of you. Now, here's how we play, I'm telling. We're going to ask each of our players about their brothers' or sisters' habits, their likes and dislikes, and maybe we'll reveal a funny secret or two. We'll record their answers after we magically teleport their brother or sister to our isolation zone. When we teleport them back, we'll ask them the same questions. Now, if they match, they'll earn points, and whoever has the most points at the end of two rounds will go on to our spectacular Pick a Prize Arcade, where they could wind up donating all all 20 prizes on stage to the National Committee for the Prevention of Child Abuse. All right, you guys. We're all ready now. Round one focuses, focuses on Shannon, Sean, and Heidi telling all about their brothers. So, guys, time to teleport you to the ISO zone. We made those siblings disappear. Okay, the first question is worth 25 points. And Shannon, you're going to select one of three categories for the first question using your random selector. Let's take a look at your category. They are three of a kind, a beach ball, and live and learn. We're gonna set them spinning whenever you're ready, Shannon. Hit that selector. Live and learn. Shannon, what kind of lessons should your brother sign up for? How to tell a joke? How to get better grades, or how to stop picking on you. <laughs> how to stop picking on me. Oh, does he do that a lot? Yes, a lot. That nasty guy. We'll talk to him. <laughs> Sean, uh, what kind of lessons should your brother sign up for? How to tell a joke, how to get better grades, or how to stop picking on you? I think uh, my little brother needs to learn how to tell a joke. Tell a joke? <laughs> yeah, he... Uh... Not too good at that, huh? Yeah, he always seems to give away the punchline right at the beginning of the joke. Yeah, that's bad. Or, or he'll start out with by telling me the wrong beginning of... Uh, he, he needs to learn he needs how to needs work, yeah. I can understand that. Heidi, how about your brother? Well, he knows how to tell a joke, and he... Um, what did the other do? How to tell a joke, how to get better grades, or how to stop picking on you. Um... He gets good grades, and um, I'm probably going to say that he he should learn how to not pick on me. Not to pick on <laughs> you. Yeah, I don't blame you. Okay, Sean, the next question's for you. It's worth 50 points. You get to select the category this time. Let's give him a look. Double trouble, crime and punishment, and dance dunce. We're going to spin him around whenever you're ready. Hit that selector, Sean. Dance dunce. Sean... If your brother was in a dancing class, what grade would he most likely get? An A, a C, or an F? Well, um, I, I'd have to say he's not, he's not a terrible dancer. He's an all right dancer. He's not uh, John Travolta or anything. He, I, I'd, say, I'd say B, probably. Or C, was he? A, yeah, a, C, a C or, C or F? F? A C. I, I think he just passed. Average. Okay. Heidi, how about your brother? Um... I'd say he'd probably get a B because he's always acting hot and yeah, dancing but you, all around. We can't choose B. It's either A, C, or F, oh. though. Okay, um, C. A C. C. Another average. Shannon, how about your brother? Well, because I taught him everything that he knows. Because I'm. Oh, good. yeah. Um, he would get an A, definitely. Oh, okay. <laughs> good enough for me. All right, Heidi, Heidi, you get the final question, and it's worth 75 points. You get to select the category this time. Let's take a look. Top slob. TV time, 
And the nose glows. We're going to spin them around whenever you're ready, Heidi. Hit that selector. TV time. Heidi, what's the name of the last TV show the two of you watched together? Um... Got to think on this one, huh? What was that show? Uh, Heidi. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, you gotta think of Well, it. this is one that he likes to rent Smoky, so I'm gonna say the Sword in the Stone. The what? S Sword in the Stone. Sword in the Stone, okay. Shannon. Oh, he's <laughs> never home. <laughs> um, <laughs> parties too much. Uh, I would say Moonlighting, because it's his favorite. Moonlighting. Sean. Well, you got me. I, I could, uh... Last one you watched last together. Last one we watched together. Yeah. Um, he also is never home. Um, <laughs> quick, we need an answer. Okay, how about the Manhattan Project? The Manhattan Project, okay. Hey, we've recorded their answers, and we'll bring back their brothers in just a minute to see how well they really do know them. Don't be now return to I'm telling. We've recorded the answers and it's time now to teleport the brothers back from the ISO zone. So let's do that right now. And they're still glowing. Welcome back, guys. First question is for Sean Doherty and it's worth 25 points. Sean, the category selected is live and learn. What kind of lessons would you sh sign up for, Sean? How to get better grades, how to stop picking on your sister, or how to tell a joke? What do you think your sister said? Hmm. Um, I've always had bad jokes, so it'd probably be how to tell a joke. How to tell a joke. Let's see what your sister said. She said, how to stop picking on her. So, you no, hey. you creep. I have too much fun. I have too much Your fun picking on you. Your jokes are bad, you're right. He picks on her instead of telling jokes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Mackenzie, what do you think your brother said? How to stop picking on Mac. How to stop picking on him. Let's see what he said. He said you couldn't tell a I joke. I can tell very good jokes. You're the, the one who the blows question, the jokes. The question was what would I say? I don't have a problem with you picking on me. <laughs> no, You're but you have a problem with picking on me. No, but that wasn't the question. That was the question. Later you're going to tell us all a joke, Mackenzie, if we have time. Chuck. I'd say that I pick on her too much. And so how to stop picking on Heidi. Heidi said... How to stop picking on her as the match for 25 points. Way to go. Okay, Mackenzie, this next question's for you. It's worth 50 points. The category selected is dance dunce. Mackenzie, if you were in a dancing class, what grade would you most likely get? An F, a C, or an A, according to your brother? Well, if this is coming from Sean, yeah. uh, <laughs> well, I don't think he put me down that much. I'll say a C. A C. Let's see what he said. He said a C. Yes, yes, C's yes. worth 50 points. All right. Chuck, an F, a C, or an A, Chuck, according to Heidi. Well, I don't think she's ever really seen me dance that much, so I think she would say an F. An F, Heidi said. A C. She thinks you're better than an F, Chuck. I'm not that... Oh, well. <laughs> He's wrong. Why is that he needs to be so hot wrong. about it, though? Sean Dory. Well, Shannon's been my dance teacher, and I know she doesn't like to look bad, so I'd have to say an A. An A. Shannon said an A because she taught you how to dance. That's a match 50 points. Way to go. Okay, Chuck, this next question's for you. It's worth 75 points. The category selected is TV time. Chuck. What's the name of the last TV show the two of you watched together? Ooh, I, I, I don't know. On the weekdays, we just sometimes watch Give Me a Break. So that's your so, answer? Yeah. Give Me a Break. Heidi said, The Sword in the Stone. You, you like, yes, Chucky. You like, <laughs> you like to watch um, recorded oh, yeah, movies, but... but so I couldn't think of anything. So else. I like watch tapes. But... Oh, give okay, her a you're break. Right, you're right. <laughs> I don't. Okay. Sean Doherty, 
Name the last TV show the two of you watched together. Ooh. It's difficult. We don't watch much. Um, I'd have to say, since, since I love her so much, uh -huh. it'd have to be our house. Our house. Shannon said... Moonlighting. Uh-oh. Moonlighting? Yeah. But... It's your favorite show. Yeah, you never but watch TV. So. I'm never home on Tuesdays. <laughs> You're never home, period. <laughs> okay, He's fine. never home. Okay, Mackenzie. Ah, uh, <laughs> well. Last show. The last thing that we watched, we don't want to talk about that. We, um, <laughs> I would have to say, in a, can it be like a movie? Anything. Last I would thing have to say The Manhattan Project. The Manhattan Project. Sean said The Manhattan Project. Yeah. That's a match. Yeah. 75 oh. points. All right. At the end of round one, Heidi and Chuck have 25 points, Shannon and Sean have 50 points, and Sean and Mackenzie have 125 points. All those points can change, because in round two, the tables will turn as we learn all about Shannon, Sean, and Heidi from their brothers. Everybody on planet Earth, I'm telling you, will return after these messages. We now return time killing. Okay, gang, now it's time to teleport you to the celebrity ISO zone. They're gone. Okay, the first question is worth 50 points, and now they get to select the category for each question. Sean, you're first. Here are your categories. You two, chances are, and way too much. We're gonna set them spinning whenever you're ready, Sean. Hit that selector button. Chances on. Okay, Sean. Do you think your sister would have a better chance at being elected student body president, getting a date, or making straight A's? Ooh, that's difficult. She's never had any problems with either one of them. <laughs> um, her best chance. Con Student considering that all of my 20-year-old friends are after, I'd say, getting a date. Getting a date. Okay. Mackenzie, do you think your brother would have a better chance of being elected student body president, getting a date, or making straight A's? Uh, well, we've already gone through student body president. Sean ran for it a few years back. He didn't get it. Uh -huh. And getting straight A's, let's not talk about that with okay. Sean. So I'd have to say getting a date. Getting a date. All right. He'll be glad to hear that. Chuck, how about your sister? Well, my sister's a little too young to date. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so she won't be do good on getting a date, but I think she's a, she's a good student, so she'd do good getting A's. Getting straight A's, yeah. okay. All right, Mackenzie, the next question's worth 75 points. You get to select the category this time. Let's give them a look. History lessons, watch the clock, and losing sleep. We're gonna spin them around whenever you're ready, Mackenzie. Smack that button. History lessons. Okay, Mackenzie, what is the exact date and year of your brother's birth? February 25th, 1971. February 25th, 1971. Okay, Chuck, exact date and year of your sister's birth? March 26, 1979. Okay. I hope. Yeah, 79, we gotta take it, Sean. I hope I get this right if I don't, I'm a dead man. Uh-huh. Uh, April 12th, 1971. All right. <laughs> Good enough. Okay, Chuck, this is the third question. It's for you. It's worth 150 points. Let's take a look at the categories. Creature feature. In the future. And sweet revenge. We're going to spin them around whenever you're ready, Chuck. Hit that button. In the future. Chuck, right after high school, is your sister going to go straight to work or go on to college? I think she'd probably want to go on to college because she's really strong on school. She'd okay. want to go to college. On to college. Sean? I would have to say definitely college. On to college. And in our family, it's not a question. It's you are going to college. Oh, okay. So, so the orders are he'll be going on to college. Going to college. Okay. We've recorded the answers, and in a few seconds, we're going to teleport Shannon, Sean, and Heidi back from the ISO zone and find out who's going to go on to play in our Pick a Prize Arcade. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we'll turn after these messages. I'm telling. We've recorded the answers, and it's time now to.
to teleport everyone back from that celebrity ISO zone. So let's do that right now. And they're back. Okay, Shannon, the first question is for you. It's worth 50 points. The category selected is chances are. <laughs> Would you have a better chance of making straight A's, being elected student body president, or getting a date? <laughs> what do you think your brother said? Getting a date. <laughs> getting a date, Sean yeah. said. Getting a date. Sean. Well, I ran for student body president and lost. I heard, yeah, sorry. Um, I don't get straight A. It has to be getting a date. It has to be. Getting a date. Mackenzie said, getting a date. All right. Heidi, how about you? Well, I'm not really good at getting a date. You will be, believe me. You will be. <laughs> And I usually get all A's, so I'm going to say get all A's. All A's. Chuck said all A's. That's right. That's 50 points. Yeah. Way to go. Sean, the next question for you is worth 75 points. The category selected is history lessons. Sean, Aston, what is the exact date and year of your birth? We want to see if your brother got it right. Of my birth? Yeah. What I think it is, what he thinks it is. <laughs> no, you tell me. You tell me what it is, and we'll see if your brother got it right. February 25th, 1971. Let's see what your brother said. That's correct. That's where it's if you got it wrong, point. I would have killed you. <laughs> Heidi, exact date and year of your birth. Let's see if Chuck knows it. March 26th, 1979. Okay, and Chuck said... That's right. That's enough. 75 points. Yeah. Shannon. He probably doesn't know it. <laughs> we'll find out. What is it? April 12th, 1971. Sean said, boy, is he relieved. All right. That's a match for 75 points. Okay, here's the final question. The category selected is in the future. Remember, this question is worth 150 points, so it's still anybody's game. At this point in the game, Heidi and Chuck have 150 points. Shannon and Sean have 175 points. And Sean and Mackenzie have 250 points. We're going to start with you, Heidi, for 150 points. Right after high school, Heidi, are you going to go straight to work or are you going to go on to college? What do you think your brother said? Um, well, I really enjoy work, and my mom told me that it's going to be fun in college, so I'm going to... I guess I'll probably say I'm going to go straight to work. Straight to work. Chuck said you're going to go on to college. You, we all say that you should go to college first because work isn't that as important as your education. Because, well, I like work. So? <laughs> and I bet she'll be able to do both of them, well, too. You can't be an actor. Hey, Shannon, stupid. how about you? Well, I make good grades, but college is <laughs> a long ways off. So I would say straight to work. Oh, straight to well. work. Sean said, you go on to college. What about SC? Hey. That's what about... like in two years. But wait a minute, Sean and I mean, Mackenzie, I mean, you know what? No, no, hold on, hold on. It's not now. It's after Wait. School. Stop. Time out. Time out. Jump oh, ball. Okay. Wait, wait. Sean and Mackenzie, there's no way anybody can catch up to you guys. So you're our winners. <laughs> Sean and Mackenzie. get $500 cash for the National Committee for the Prevention of Child Abuse, and you get to go on to our Pick a Prize Arcade. Shannon and Sean, you played great. Heidi and Chuck, you were terrific. There's no way we're going to let you go away empty-handed. Here's Dean to tell you about the prizes for the National Committee for the Prevention of Child Abuse. Kids, for playing, I'm telling each of you will donate one of these 10-speed bicycles, replicas of the bikes, the pros use, and a book of coupons redeemable at participating 7-Eleven stores for the new all-natural juicy Slurpee, furnished by the Southland Corporation, and also the home board version of I'm Telling, Lori. We'll be right back with Sean and Mackenzie in our fabulous Pick a Prize Arcade right after this.
Don't go to the isolation zone. I'm telling will return after these messages. We now return to I'm telling. We're back with Mackenzie and Sean here at the Pick a Prize Arcade. Why don't you guys wander down there and check out these prizes for a minute? Okay, now this is how everything works. We've got 10 boys' prizes and 10 girls' prizes. Before the show, each of you pick the six you thought would best benefit your charity. Now, both of you are gonna run through the arcade and pick six prizes each. If you match a total of 10 prizes, your charity will get all 20 of them. Now, uh, Sean, you pick from the yellow platforms, and Mackenzie, you pick from the pink platforms. We're gonna show the home audience the six prizes Mackenzie thinks you're going to select, Sean. Meanwhile, you get ready. Think about the ones you're gonna select. Hey, hey. Okay. Get right up here. All right, they've seen them at home. Get on your mark. You can only pick six. Get set, go! Pick six and you matched on five. Way to go, Sean. Did you... Mackenzie, now it's your turn to get up there and match as many as you can. Remember, oh, if the two of you get a oh, total God. of ten, I your charity is going to get oh, all God. 20 of them. Hey, Mackenzie's yeah. excited here. Oh. Wait a minute, now we're going to show the home audience the six prizes. Your brother thinks you're going to select, Mackenzie. Oh, Loosen so up, bud. Hey, Relax. Hey, so yeah, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. So Deep good. breath. So all right, get on your mark. Right. Get set. Go, Mackenzie. Oh, Committee for the Prevention of Child Abuse. Oh, God, We're gonna go look at those prizes and Dean's gonna tell us how we did. Let's go check them out. Mackenzie and Sean on top of the $500 donated to the National Committee for the Prevention of Child Abuse. They'll also receive eight fabulous prizes like the home stereo system, the basketball and backboard, the remote control car, the video game, the boogie boards, the Barbie dolls, the beauty kit, and the assortment of records and cassettes. Lori. Okay, hey, listen, we're gonna give away every single prize. Every prize is gone. Celebrities appearing today have played for charities which have been approved by NBC solely and its discretion prior to taping. All monies and prizes won will be forwarded by Savant Productions directly to the charitable organizations. 